Hey Pisces, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. All right, so I have your July spread in front of me. It will be a past, present, and future spread. And then I do have more cards to pull for clarification. Okay, guys, so let's hop right into this. So your energy for this reading is the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? So, you know, this could be you guys, just super emotional about something. You know, the King of Cups in the reverse is someone who their, their feelings and their emotions are kind of scattered all over this place. This could be somebody who has more than one lover, you know, just someone who's a little unreliable with emotions at this time, okay? Under that, we do have the Two of Swords, so maybe you're feeling this way because you're having a tough time making a decision between two things, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be two people. Maybe you have two job offers on the table, or uh, maybe you're looking to move to another place and you don't know which way to go, but uh, you might have a lot of your plate, a lot on your plate, okay? So let's hop right into it and see what's going on. Okay, guys, so the first card you have for your past is the Ace of Wands. So this is, you know, the beautiful beginning to something. This is you guys doing something with passion, whether it be a relationship, you know, a new job venture, something that, you know, really triggers your creative side. So you're having a new start, and there might have been people just questioning you about whatever it was that you were starting. You know, the seven of wands in the reverse is just kind of this frustrating energy where this guy here is being questioned by everybody and their mother, and he just wants to tell everybody to shut the fuck up that sort of thing and you know this could have been coming from family you know friends even your lover if you have one but it did result in a fallout either a fallout with somebody or um a lot of arguing with someone the two of cups doesn't always mean a breakup okay so it just means you could have been arguing with someone about something now in your present moment you have the ace of pentacles so you guys are on fire okay so you have the ace of pentacles and you have the ace of wands and it's like you're going towards this new start and whatever it is that you're trying to manifest that you're trying to birth especially with this ace of pentacles it's something that you're taking your time with and it's something that's really going to have longevity and here, you know, with the Hanging Man as your last card for the present moment, you may just be trying to figure out what's the best approach you could take. You know, the Hanging Man, he's kind of sitting there getting all his information, trying to see what's the best way to go, but he's kind of like in limbo. So let's find out what's going on. Um, let's start with your past first. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Why is this Ace of Wands here? Okay. So there was something new that you were starting and you were feeling strong about this new start, but there's also something that wasn't over yet. Okay. With the death card in the reverse. So there was a new start, but I feel like there might've been old energies from something that you were still holding on to in the past. All right. Why is the seven of wands here for your past? Yeah, so you have the Seven of Wands twice, okay? Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands, and Nine of Wands. So you're really feeling frustrated about something, and you're just about done. You're done, you're over it, you just don't want to deal with it. Clear as day. Why is this Two of Cups here in your past? Why is this Two of Cups here? Okay, let me get one more card. Bam. Yeah, there could have been a lot of arguing because you weren't happy that somebody was being unreliable. Okay? Maybe you're dealing with the fire sign. But, yeah, I just see a lot of arguing. I see someone being dissatisfied. And someone who's just, you know, they, they could be coming off really, really charming, but they're, they're just not doing it. And even at the bottom of the deck now, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. So the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands, they can have this, like, one night stand feel about them okay and guys it's thundering by the way so if you hear flashing and like children screaming no i'm kidding but if you hear a lot of shit outside that's what it is okay so yeah i just feel like there's somebody who's unreliable in your life who's around and this was in the past and you just you had to let that go now let's see what's going on with this new start that you have in the present moment what is this ace of pentacles about give me one more card what is this ace of pentacles about okay Someone else in your life may have switched up on you, okay? Okay. 
So you have this new start. Okay? And with this new start, you know, you're not fighting, you're not arguing, you're not competing. Because there was something that was just a waste of time. And you got out of your head about it. And that's why you're able to start something new. Okay? Why is this Empress card here? Okay. All right. So it's like there's, there's something new that you're starting. And I feel like there's something you have to leave behind. And it's the Two of Cups. Okay? So this could be, you know, there's something that you dropped in the past. And there's something that you're starting now. It could be, you know, with the same person or the same situation. Maybe you guys took some time off to yourselves and you're restarting whatever this is again. But yeah, it's like there's arguing in the past, but things seem to be good now. You seem to be generating good new things. You know, you guys are both rolling up your sleeves, working on this. And with the Three of Wands, you know, you're expanding on this. And you're using your intuition here with the High Priestess. So that's really nice. So even if it was, you know, this crazy situation in the past... I feel like everything's a lot more stable now. All right, so let's see what's going on with this hanging man and why you guys feel like you're in limbo. Why is this hanging man here? Why is this hanging man? Okay. It's funny because, you know, there's something that you feel defeated about. Yet there's a new offer on the table. All right, there's a lot of there's a lot of things starting for you guys. All right? You guys got a lot of cards about new starts, love offers. You know, the full card is all about... The full card, it's about a new start, but he hasn't actually... He or she hasn't actually taken that first step for this new start. But it's something that's in the works, something that's being spoken about. And there's just something you feel defeated over. Or something that you defeated. Okay? Maybe you, you still, you know, maybe you're still in your feelings about the past, especially if this is the same person or situation from the past that you were arguing with. I feel like you're starting over again, but it's just like you're not sure which route to take with it. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. Now, in your future, you have the two wands, so you are taking a path. Um, you know, you're, you're choosing a clear way in how you want to go about this. With the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, there might be some sort of loss that you're feeling. It may be, you know, um, with the Pentacles, it could be in terms of finances. Or this just could be with emotions, okay? So you guys could be just feeling like you're losing something. And then you have the Page of Wands in the reverse as the last card for your future. So this is just a blockage on passion. Um, whether it is you guys not letting it in or you guys trying to give it and it's not being received... But there's just something, you know, it could be a new start, a new project that you're trying to get off the ground, but there's still some more research that has to be done in order to get it off the ground. Why is this Two of Wands here? Why is this Two of Wands here? Give me one more card. Why is this Two of Wands here? All right. Let me grab that, guys. It's funny because there's a new start that you guys are able to have, but there's an injustice on your mind while this is happening. And the path that you take may be a path to being single or doing it alone. Okay? The Six of Swords is all about moving away, moving to calmer waters, something that you trust more. And the Nine of Pentacles, it's all about abundance, but it's all about abundance on your own. You know, you reaping the benefits from, the, from your own work, okay? Why is this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? Ace of Pentacles at the bottom again. So despite all this, I, I do think, and the Page of Pentacles. So you guys are feeling some sort of loss and you're worried. I'm getting the sense that maybe you're trying to start something new, like a new project or... I don't, I don't feel, there's a lot of Two of Cups here, I get that, but I just, something's telling me this might not necessarily be about love for all of you. I think that there's a new start that you're taking, something that you're kind of choosing to do it on your own and you're kind of nervous about it because it's brand new, but you're slowly going into this, so don't be worried about it, you know, because this is something that we, you know, we inflect upon ourselves. 
the way I see it is if you guys are starting a new venture, whether it be with love, money, whatever it is, if there's something that's not going right, you have to ask yourself, what is the solution to this problem? If the solution is within your means and something that you can do, work on that solution. If it's out of your control and there's really no solution, then does it, is it even going to change anything if you're worried about it? Because worrying about it isn't really going to change the outcome. So make sure that you guys aren't too hard on yourselves, okay? Now let's see what this page of wands in the reverse is about. Why is... Okay... Give me one more card. Why is this page of wands in the reverse? I'm sorry. I'm like so stuck, guys. All right. So there might be a delay on passion because, you know, secrets came out and it could have been about a third party situation if it's with love or it could have been about, um, you know, not being able some something at work that when this came out, it's just like you weren't able to see eye to eye with everybody and it caused problems. People felt like they weren't being heard out. Even in a relationship, this doesn't necessarily have to be in a third party, but with the three of pentacles in the reverse, it's all about not seeing eye to eye, arguing, you know, people not feeling appreciated. But with the moon card in the reverse, all the secrets are out already and you're kind of in this place where you're trying to heal from whatever it was that you heard or you're just trying to get over it. All right? So yeah, I see that there's something that you guys are, I feel like there's, there's a back and forth. There's something that you guys are trying to get off the ground. And whether it be in a relationship or in a project, you may want to take, if it's in a relationship, you might want to take a step back and see what it is you truly want out of this because things seem to be so scattered. But if it's with work, I honestly think that you guys might be better off just handling whatever situation this is on your own, Okay. Sometimes it's hard to work with people. So if you could kind of like take it into your own hands, you know how people say if you want it done best, just do it yourself. This might just have to be something that you have to do on your own. Okay? But don't be worried. Empower to anybody who's starting, you know, a new entrepreneurial venture. You know, that's, that's the happiest you'll ever be in life if you just do your own passion and, and you go with it. Okay? But this doesn't look too heavy. I don't see any like heartbreaks or anything like that. But I do see you guys moving away from something that doesn't serve you. And... You know, having clarity about things that worked and things that didn't work and trying to take, you know, the best approach to that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys an Earth Magic Oracle card to see what the cards have um, in terms of advice for you. And for anyone interested, I use it every month. The Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. All right, what is some advice for Pisces for July 2017? Advice for Pisces. Ooh. Green man, synergy. I'm excited. I haven't pulled this one, so I have no idea what it's about. But I bet you it's about synergy. All right, let me pull this up. find it oh you know what looking under s and green man is under g that's why i couldn't find it all right as i went to school i promise okay so green man is earth's vegetation personified although he has many variations this card depicts a more subtle and embedded representation in other portrayals he resembles the face of a man covered in green foliage as branches and vines sprout from every direction there exists form um there exists some form of green man throughout history and in a myriad of cultures throughout the world, often a symbol for the rebirth of life in the springtime. He's also been associated with the Lord of the Wildwood. A, represent, a representative of the plant kingdom, green man reminds us of the incredible synergy required for Gaia to maintain her delicate and dynamic balance among the various beings on the planet. Synergy is the interaction and cooperation of two or more elements that produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate efforts. We witness this in the complex and the cooperative interaction between plants, humans, and animals. For instance, fruit trees propagate by being eaten by an animal that then deposits it back into the earth after digestion. As a new plant grows, bees pollinate the flowers 
and the cycle begins once again in nature's simple yet remarkable synergy. You have the advantage of an incredible synergy at this time. A flow of life is guiding you, where things just seem to fall into place as you move about your business. You are in a mutually cooperative interaction with spirit as your will is aligned with the will of spirit, and your mission is congruent with the sense of purpose. When this is happening, there is a synergy, a way that your life force is continuously coming into balance with the forces of nature. There is also synergy between your spiritual awareness and your personal self or ego. Be aware of the various what does it say? idiosyncrasies of your ego, and do not take any of them too seriously. Know that your higher self is always looking out for your best interest. In this cycle, tune into that guidance, however it shows up, and you will find that you move through life with greater ease due to a synergistic balance of forces expressing themselves as you. So this is beautiful. Let things just fall into place. If there is something that's helping you guys, just let it go with the flow. Um, if you feel like you're better off doing it alone, do it alone. But the synergy is there. Okay, so if you have a new project you're trying to get off, if you have a new relationship that you're trying to get off, maybe you should just take the help. I know I said before you shouldn't, but maybe that will help you with the greater good. Okay, guys? So uh, this, I think, was a very beautiful reading, and I love this card. It's so pretty. But yeah, if you guys do want your own personal reading, I will leave all of my information in the description. All right, take care.